Hey guys, Tony Lockhart here, and in this video we're going to go over process steps. So how would you draw something digitally? This is one recommendation. I would say if you're going to draw something that looks like this apple right here, um, start by figuring out what's the overall height and the width. So think about measurements, and then what you want to do is come up with a basic shape that you could use to go and illustrate that apple. Okay, once you're done and you've figured out what the measurements are, you've figured out what the ideal shape is, which is kind of like a triangle and a line and a circle, now it's a good idea to go and try to illustrate the edges. Okay, so here I am. Um, I'm gonna go and add a little bit more form to the shape of the apple. I'm not gonna use all of the lines that I originally started with. I'm okay with erasing if I need to. And what I'll do is I'm just going to focus on getting this thing to develop and look more like an apple. Now, keep in mind, if we work digitally, we can work with layers. Um, but in this first demo, I'm not going to really go and work with layers. It's more like what's the approach that you could take to using this to draw something. OK, so when you're done with your edges, now it's time to go and put some details in there. So you do some shading and other little types of things to, to really give this a little bit more form and to make it look realistic, okay? Let's apply this to an actual character design, okay? So let's just say I was gonna draw some kind of a character, so I'll add a new layer, and I'm gonna do some kind of a jelly bean type of a character that is in the that has some kind of like a, a robotic shape or some kind of an outfit of armor around its body. Um, I'm thinking about measurements. Now that I'm done with measurements, I'm thinking about, well, what are the general shapes for my character? Because I'm thinking about proportion, I'm thinking about silhouette. So I want to do a good job of just very quickly going in there and just making this illustration come to life. And then once I'm feeling satisfied and I think like the overall shape language of the character is good, now again, it's time to think about those edges. So I'm going to go and change to a darker color and I'm going to go for a little bit skinnier of a line and maybe I'm going to draw, you know, my little robot and, you know, give it a couple little claws and things like that for the fingers. Um, I'm just doing a very, very simple thumbnail sketch. I can always take this and make it a little bit bigger and turn it into a rough sketch. But right now I just, I don't want to spend too much time laboring over it. I just want to focus on getting something um, that meets the, the requirements that I'm trying to deal with, okay? Uh, again, I'm not really sticking too much to the underlying color because I can always go back later and kind of change this. Ideally, I would do this 10, 20, 30 times before I really settle on the thing that I want, okay? So now that I'm just about done, Okay, if I wanted to, I could go back in and do some shading and put in the details. But again, like think about measurements, think about shapes, think about edges, and then go for the details. Now, I've already done a couple of these ahead of time. So here, let me just kind of show you, um, you know, how I started this process. I just came up with a bunch of shapes. I thought about good proportion. I thought about good silhouette. Later, I went back in with like a rough pass. And I figured out like, oh, okay, this looks great. I'm gonna go and, you know, define some of these characters. Okay, now that I'm all set, I could take something like this, one right here. I'm gonna just make a selection around it. Make sure I'm on the right layer, Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac. And then maybe on a brand new layer, I'm gonna go take this thing and I'm gonna paste it. Okay, I'm gonna Command T because this thumbnail can now be stretched out to be a rough sketch. And what I'll do is I'll just take this thing. Let me just drop the opacity. And then I'm gonna put a brand new layer on top of it. And I could really take my time to sketch this out and define this properly, okay? So um, don't forget, you wanna use different types of shortcuts because they're gonna really help you um, save a lot of time. So the letter B is for brush. And what I'll do is I'll take this thing, and now that I've done my homework, like I've got the, the ideal proportions, and I've got some, got some solid designs, I could go back in here and start to sketch out this character 
and I can put more details now that I have a little bit more real estate. And I don't have to feel like I need to stick exactly to the sketch that I have underneath. If I want to, I could just make um, some adjustments and change things around, you know, and instead of having this big blobby character um, with the face, maybe I can actually have some kind of a character with, you know, you know, little hands and they're like operating this machinery. Okay. So again, let's just quickly recap. When you're doing different types of drawings, this is one suggestion because there's a million ways to do this, but you wanna come up with your idea. And once you have your idea, it's in your mind and you're ready to sit down and you're ready to illustrate it, try to think about what are the right proportions. Get those measurements right before you actually start um, to add any details. Okay, how should you put those uh, shapes or those measurements down? Get some shapes in there. Okay, don't spend your time like I am right now at the beginning. Instead, get the general feel and the overall shape language first. Then, once you know that this is supposed to be a round object, then you can go up back in. Let's get those edges in there. And after the edges are in there, then you could go and put the details like the little bolts that are gonna hold these panels together, okay? Hey guys, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.